Mm. Hey guys, screw up line wave, I'm Eric. It goes this way, Calvin. It always goes this no, way. No, it doesn't. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. And we are back with Star Wars The Clone Wars. Man, that was weird. You know what else Breaking was weird? Breaking Bad, we did it this way. Last set of episodes was weird, because we were on Mortis, which in Latin we means of death. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. There was some death. There was some death. Uh, the father, the son. The daughter. And the daughter. Yeah. Yep. All three. Uh, and um, uh, Ahsoka there for a second. Yeah. She was. Oh, for a hot minute. Just a little tiny bit. Dead. Dead. She's um, back, though. Anakin saw some shit, then forgot about some shit. Everybody else, they saw some stuff. He but... saw some shit and became evil mm. and forgot He about did what he was... had to do to save the galaxy. Sounds familiar. It did. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to be moving on from Mortis in that mind fucking to more Clone Wars. Yep. There's a first time for everything. Indeed, there is. The rock. The yeah. security has prevented our probes from obtaining recent reconnaissance. So we've been forced to construct a crude map based upon data from the archives. Beg your pardon, General. It is the rock. How do we know Master Peel is still alive? The Separatists won't dare kill Master Peel until they have what they need. He obtained the coordinates of a secret hyperspace lane known as the Nexus Route, which travels into the heart of both the Republic and Separatist homeworld. These hyperspace lanes are of immense interest to both our sides, mm -hmm. and could tip the scale of the war to yeah. whomever is in possession of them. My greatest concern is infiltrating their outer security. The life form scanners will not be easy to fool. I've got a thought about that. Master, I'm sorry I'm late. I just heard about the briefing. We're going to rescue Master Peel, right? Ahsoka, I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. But you won't be coming along in this one. Not coming? But you're breaking into the Citadel. No one's ever done it. The Citadel wasn't designed to hold common criminals. It was created to hold Jedi if any of us lost our way. That's not fair. How am I supposed to learn if you won't let me share the risk? This isn't a mission for learning. You either do or die. <laughs> and that's not a risk I'm willing to share. Oh, look out! Behind you! Uh, look, <laughs> my battle droids! These are your troops. They're battle droids. What? What do you mean they've been reprogrammed to follow your orders? He's awesome. He's got a squad. He does. You're leading your word, Commander. Droids won't be detected. This is life signs? Mm, they had said they had a life sign scanner. Make sure they don't stray from the flight plan. It's all under control, sir. I was talking to R2. Roger, roger. So one of those little torture you guys from Cloud City. This is your idea. Carbon freezing? Hey. <laughs> ah! to shield us from the life form scanners. Are uh, we sure this thing is safe? I don't want to end up a wall decoration. <laughs> Try to relax. We'll be unfrozen as soon as we arrive. Now this is not a crude facility. No. No need for testing. Or Captain Solo. I'd, I'd be wearing my helmet. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, they're stuck alive in there. <laughs> Man, they got them all in there. It's awesome. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this is a cool planet, man. Is it what the Citadel is? Uh -huh. Make sure every part of that ship. Is scanned for life forms. Yes. What the heck? He's intense. Make no mistake. The Jedi will be coming for their imprisoned brother. The shuttle has no life forms, Commander. Scan complete. You may proceed. It's a. Uh, it's James Arnold Taylor doing Christopher Walken. Okay. I was gonna say. The guy who plays Obi Wan. Yeah. Yeah. In inflection. Yeah. <laughs> Very close inflection. <laughs> Ah, he also hasn't been in there for months. Hey, Snips. Yeah, but hey, as I said before, it's not a crude facility. I must have carbon sickness because I don't swear that's Ahsoka. <laughs> Your eyes are fine. It's Ahsoka's hearing that needs help. If there's one thing I've learned from you, Master, it's that following direct orders isn't always the best way to solve a problem. Oh. I see Anakin's new teaching method is to do as I say, not as I do. 
Well, the whole. <laughs> Do one ribbon in. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is what you get for setting an example like this. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Fuck oh, that. I love the color in this car. I know. Hey, yeah, it's amazing. There, Could it be better? Fucking droid. He has a strong ass man. Hanging by his fingertips. Well, he's he's got one foot down. Still. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. ah! That's pretty small. It's easy when you draw him squiggling through there. Yeah. Oh, Fuck! You made it all that way. It's like the guy in Hunter Hunter. You made it to the door. <laughs> Whatever it was. Yeah. They know we're here. Oh, that sound. <laughs> Commando oh. droids. Even their coloring's awesome. Yeah. It's the same colors yeah. as the planets. Everybody in the cast gets a chance to do a tactical droid. This one is Ashley X Star. Oh, nice. <laughs> ah. Fuck. Go, oh. Go, go. Damn it! Long shot. Long shot. Oh, no. no droid will ever break me. Say goodbye. Sounds like a dwarf. Goodbye. He's like a deep Russian voice. Yes. It takes more than they got to break me, young Skywalker. Sounds Greek. So you have the coordinates for the Nexus route. I got them all right. Half of them anyway. My captain's got the other half. Where's your captain? Being held with the other officers, I assume. We're gonna need a new plan for getting out. Fuck! He's flipping. Show off. Good job! Spear! That's so could get up. I must have blinked. She cut its head off. Okay. Oh no! His hand! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> They're magnetized. This place is too. Shut up your arms! <laughs> oh, nice. nice move. I love that. Let's get out of here. He's gonna spear right through the door into his face. Ah. Almost, Calvin, almost. Oops. General. Hey! Oh! Captain, Captain Tyler. again. Shit. And you brought friends. Tarkin, this is Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. If they've locked this fortress down, there's at least ten squads on their way. It's not a terrible it's to Peter Cushing. To no. It's meant to be what younger. Yeah. Split up? My team will I'm assuming it's also... Well, Anakin leads the others away. Steven Stan. That way, if one of us is captured, oh, is it? the enemy will only have part of the information and not all of it. Obi-Wan has a point. I'll go with him. You go with Skywalker. Maybe that was gonna be the captain. Huh. No. <laughs> Lord, no. Remember you, Lord? Right. He's not a clone. He's yeah, like, sure. They escaped, sir. Uh, captain, show this droid what happens when you use that word. <laughs> he does not like the word escape. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> he rode the shockwave, didn't he? <laughs> oh! Looks like Obi Wan's distraction worked. Things seem to be going as planned. It's when things do not go as planned that concerns me. What then? It's when things don't go as planned that we Jedi are at our best. Try
trust me. I deserve my trust for those who take action. We rescued you back there, and I reserve my trust for those who understand gratitude, Captain Tarkin. <laughs> <laughs> it's the start of a long history with those Yeah. Two. Yep. He's, he's never under Vader's boots. <sighs> All right. Ah, That's man. part one. What? Of the rock. No. Come on. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to the Citadel. That was great. That was good, wasn't it? Man. Yeah. It was so good. Dude, uh, yeah, season three is when Clone Wars like really finds a stride, I think. Especially in terms of the of the look of it, but still. I love this. I love this one. Yeah, I love the idea of a Jedi prison mm -hmm. and the fact that the Separatists took it over and now housing Jedi. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's great. Yeah. I, I believe they only have one in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But, I, yeah, I mean, the idea that the Jedi themselves set this up in case one of their own would Lost go, their way. Yeah. It's a really interesting idea. I like it. Yeah. But, yeah, of course the Separatists set it up and put that guy in charge. <laughs> I like, you know, it, it is distracting. It's, but I, because I he's so, it. his arms are so long and he's such a, I mean, he's an alien creature. He's like, you know, and he's doing walking. There's something about it that's charming to me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the the lighting and the color in this was great. The opening space you've seen, mm -hmm. yeah. as short as it was, it was still yeah. just something to look at. Yeah. I love it's really great. I love purple and yellow together. So oh, it's yeah. one of my favorite color combinations. Yeah, um, you know the the coloring in this one is amazing. Even the uh, the droid, the, like the commander droid, I said Ashley Eckstein was voicing that. But the funny thing about this is uh, when this was being done. Um, and they chose yellow and purple, and they had to name, you know, some of these characters just for their own internal models. The tactical droid here is K2B4. Uh, this was done during the finals of a Lakers game. Uh -huh. Kobe Bryant, 24. Yep. KB, or, uh, K2B4, because one of the animators was a fan, and right. just like, uh, I'm going to name him this, and he's Kobe Bryant. <laughs> and we're going to have Ashley Eckstein voice him. So okay. Just a little cool little Easter egg that cool. the Lakers, obviously, are uh, gold and purple. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I loved how R2 had a, his own, like, squad. Yeah. His little troop. Isn't that cool? That was great. Why doesn't he do that all the time? I wonder well, what R2's rank is. Uh, I don't think he, he has He probably doesn't one, have one. He no. should. He should. He's more experienced. If experienced, be a gunnery sergeant. <laughs> yeah, the captain. Um, but I mean, the, the droids at least were calling him commander for the, for this special mission. He was a commander. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you do notice, like everybody's kind of like, oh, droids. I don't trust them, you know. But they don't allow them to have their guns. Yeah. Yeah. They only are are just. But gunners. I mean, like they have to be the ones to wake him up. Yeah. So they have to trust him at a certain point. Yeah. Um, well, R two is there as well, and we know from. Experience that he can mess some droids up. I don't yeah. think R2 can reach the buttons though. He has jets. Yeah, I suppose he does. Yeah. And he could do it while they're still horizontal, like close to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> what did you guys do? Oh, good. Uh, I love the idea of because of the life scanners, they have to carbon freeze them. They have to carbon freeze to get yeah. through. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, I definitely remember when this came out, a lot of people thought, oh, they fucked up. The first time humans were ever carbon froze, that was during Empire because Vader had to test it to make sure it worked. And we had to tell those people, you guys didn't listen. He said that because this is a crude facility. Yeah. I need to make sure it doesn't kill him. Yeah. But I've done this before. <laughs> it's kind of the idea. So. Yeah. 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 But, uh, I love it, too. I love, you know, the, 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 like, I always think it's interesting the way the sculptor makes the carbon person, frozen person look, you know? Yeah. It's not perfect, you know? I always really liked that. One of my favorite sculptures of all time is Jar Jar and Carbon Freeze. Like, someone did it because, you know, people didn't like Jar Jar, and they thought it'd be funny to, like, I'm going to put Jar Jar in there, and then it showed up everywhere. People yeah. loved it. Yeah. So. It's really unfortunate for the artist, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Fortunate for others. Yep. It's really cool how Anakin got magnetized. I love that moment. Yeah. yeah. That was great as well. And he it's managed to sense. cut himself free, even though he was getting shocked. He did. He was able to endure the lightning, yeah. which uh, is, you know... Is something that happens in Jedi as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Vader's suit is designed to be susceptible to Sith lightning. That way, only Palpatine can, can beat him if he needs to. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's, it's the same what kills him. Yeah, yeah. but because you know, it, you know, when you're when you're a person, you're you know, but the electricity is just fried, you know, and he needs that to survive. Yeah, but you can see here, like he's able to push through because he's not reliant on that. You know, yeah, it's the same reasoning why um, Dooku didn't teach Sauvage mm -hmm. how to 
you know, do Sith lightning or yeah. resist it. Yeah. You just fucking hold it up. Yeah. <laughs> hold, the, hold the saber it's up. It's an easy way to... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got how Ahsoka feels, but she should follow orders. She should. She should. <clears throat> but I, I do like the idea that, I mean, this is Anakin's Padawan. And it is it's very much, you know, do as yeah. I say, not as I do. Because he is like that. And I, I do like how it's almost, you know, it, it does kind of almost say something about the way Anakin is possessive of her. He's like, when a really dangerous mission, I can't risk losing you. Regardless yeah. if it's your sure. Jedi duty or not. So, there's that as well. Because even the other Jedi, like Plu Kun, is like, well, he's your master, but, you know. They weren't saying, like, no, it's too dangerous. They were saying, just listen to your master. Yeah. 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 Um, so, uh, we got Captain Tarkin. Yeah. And Clone Wars. I, yeah, I had no idea that whenever I watched it the first time. I was like, what? Because <laughs> they show you all these clones, you know, yeah. at first. And then he gets up and you're like... <laughs> yeah. I saw the one guy in the in the uniform. I was like, okay, that must be him. And then he yeah. stood up and I was like, whoa. Yeah. Those are his cheekbones. <laughs> yeah. That was great. I mean, it makes sense. Like, he being an admiral or whatever like yeah. would have gotten the experience during the Clone Wars yeah he's Grand a Moff. he's a Grand Moff Tarkin yeah, um, yeah. Governor Tarkin too he's yeah. both a governor and a Grand Moff um, but yeah he was in the Clone Wars he served and I, I, he challenges Jedi authority mm -hmm. very yeah. much so and I just love like seeing Anakin and Tarkin like interact together and you're like man that's Vader and Tarkin what yeah that, yeah know? definitely and it's like I wonder if he knows <laughs> you know? which I, I personally feel like he, he might have because you know when we see Vader in episode 3 show up like and they're looking at the, the Death Star being made Tarkin is on that ship yeah yeah, yeah. so anyway um, what else though we lost Longshot who's been with us for a long time now um, I, we lose like troopers in almost every mission but yeah we lost two uh, like Two of the troopers mm -hmm. that are with our, like, commanders. Yeah. I mean, that's the that's the thing about Clone Wars. is like, you can get away with this stuff in a kid's show because, well, they're clones and droids. No one cares. But Clone Wars, by its nature, makes you care for these clones. So yeah. when the yeah. one guy just falls, you're like, no, my sweet prince. And he does. You know, it sucks. Yeah. Uh, uh, what would you think of uh, Master Eve, Evil, Even Peel, I think? Yeah. Is it... Even Peel? I wrote Evan or... Ivan or Even, yeah. Um, I thought it was Ebon Peel. No, I think it was the V. Is yeah, it? Yeah. I wrote a V. But, uh, I mean, you know, he was a Jedi in the background of Episode 1. He's, uh, like, at the end celebration, he's standing there, like, with Yoda and stuff. Yeah. Funny enough, he's played by a woman in the, in the movie. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. It um, definitely wasn't a woman here. It was not, no. no, no. <laughs> and uh, I remember when this came out, this was the first huge de deviation from the... Uh, Established Clone Wars canon from the comic books because even Peel, um, I think that he had like died at some point in the EO, but then they brought him back here to use, and it's like, well, that doesn't, we can't make that work, you know. So any character that is missing an eye gains points with me, right? And he has that like strong Greek accent too, and <laughs> yeah, <coughs> yeah. No, I, I like his personality. Yeah, how I like. Completely dismisses Tarkin. He's mm -hmm. like, no, I I agree with Obi Wan. Yeah, you go with him. <laughs> it also might be because he just doesn't like yeah. him at all, right? <laughs> I imagine that Tarkin is the kind of guy that gets in your nerves. Yeah, he's undermining everything that you th you know. But he's also incredibly smart as well. Yeah, the uh, the plan to keep half, you know, memorize half of the codes and half of the codes is very smart. Yep. Yeah. I liked how like Master Peel didn't trust himself in that regard. Yeah. I wonder, like, if that was something that, like, Tarkin knew that they were going to be captured. You know, uh, we're, we're outgunned completely, yeah. so how about you memorize half and I memorize half? That way, in his own mind, he's thinking, like, well, if they rescue you, they have to rescue me, too. Yeah. That's it. I, I kind of thought along the same way versus, like, you know, was that Peel's idea or was that... Tarkin's idea. Yeah. And Tarkin is the kind of guy that makes you think that your ideas are yours, but yeah. they're his, you know? Yeah. Um, I also really enjoyed that when they're in this detention center, we see, like, things we saw in episode four, like those six 
thing, camera oh, yeah. things, yeah. and even the little the laser shooters. the laser shooters yep. that I I remember watching Star Wars and not knowing what those were. Just that show was like fuck these, <laughs> fuck these, you know. Right. But here we see what they do. They just you go on lockdown, they just spray the entire place. You know, well, we've seen like video games before. I think shoot I think lasers so. and yeah. stuff. But yeah, it's it's good to see that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really cool. Um, I believe that's all I got. I mean, the the texture of the Citadel I think is meant to invoke the Death Star, like in terms of like its lighting, like it has these kind of like panel lighting and stuff all over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which I think is done to make you th- start thinking of the Death Star in Episode Four, and then there's the Tarkin, you know. Yeah. So I think it's a very subtle way of kind of getting you there, but obviously it's still a huge surprise when it shows up. It also, is. the Citadel reminds me of. Um, Vader's castle. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. You know on how it's Mustafar. like on Mustafar, yeah, all the lava and mm-hmm. stuff like that. It's a great spire sticking out. Yeah, they're on this like destroyed planet. Like, yeah. Yeah, half of it's missing or at least, uh, I don't know, a third or a fourth. <laughs> yeah, it's like a great gate disaster yeah. or some shit happened to this place. I know. It, it just like evokes all this history, you know, mm-hmm. that there's this Jedi prison on this what looks like hell, you know. Yeah. But Easter color. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, obviously, part one. Part one. So we got more Citadel coming. Uh, yeah, I can't big, wait. Great arc. More so. escaping. Goodbye, everybody. If you guys want to see the next one, you can right now over at patreon.com slash blindway. Full link is there as well. You should subscribe because more Star Wars content coming in the future. Next month, The Mandalorian. <sighs> oh, The Mandalorian. Can I get shirt? Yeah. So excited. Okay. Should have affected a Christopher Walker.